Welcome back to Cube World. This is Jace Machine. How are you guys doing today? I am doing pretty good. When we last left off, we were hanging out with this here sheep and his brother sheep. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, as the sun is setting, you can see... I love that color. Look at that. Hello, Mr. Kittens. How are you doing today? Uh, we're going to wait for the sun to continue going down a little bit because I want to show you what the night looks like. But I am not really interested in getting my rear handed to me. I'm going to grab some of these. We're going we're gonna to craft something. Anyway, the moral of the story is, is that your field of vision is greatly decreased at night. And that's even if you have a lantern. So, um, hey, what's this? <laughs> I am nothing special. Oh. Mr. Sheep, are you hiding something in there? Are you hiding your secrets from me? Tell me your secrets, Sheep. Tell me your secrets. He has no secrets. Otherwise, he would have told me. I know this. All right. All right. So we hit, uh, what do we hit here? X? No, X is not what I wanted to hit. C. C for crafting. Because, uh, that's the alphabet for you. We're going to craft some pumpkin muffins. I think. Can we? Requires a campfire. We will not be crafting pumpkin muffins. We will, however, craft some pineapple slices. Um, so let's do that real quick. Those will be good to eat in a pinch. Now, there's two types of uh, curative items in Cube World. Um, type number one is like the the potions. Potions are something that you can uh, drink and and run at the same time. Basically, they're they're hands down the best. I need a campfire for my ginseng soup. So, um, basically, the you know the little heart, the heart flower that I'm about to pick up up here. You know, you craft those, and you're able to drink those while you're running around. Now, I need to go to a shop. There, that's a weapon shop. That's the weapon shop. Here's the item shop. Hey, what you doing over here? You're awfully short for a human. <laughs> oh, I can't see what you're saying. It's off screen, but I'm sure you're a very nice person. Okay. We only have one silver and we have nine copper. So we're going to buy as many glass flasks as we can. If I remember how to do that. Oh yeah, that's right click. That, oh, did that say we had nine copper? Now it's maybe it was ninety. It's alpha. I don't know, guys. Could be I'm blind. All right. So I can't buy that unless I actually have silver. Correct. That is correct. Same with the wooden boat. Correct. Absolutely correct. Uh, we can buy a bomb. Uh, we can buy a couple of bombs. We could also buy more. In are more powerful weapons, I think, down here. Let's see what we have. Bomb plus 14. It's the same price. The prices are a little nerfed, I have found. So we're going to do an experiment. We're going to take my pitiful bomb ones, and we're going to buy ourselves the bomb right here. But we can do... Yeah, we can do that. Power 100. Power of an all right, um, anything here? We have formulas to build stuff. We'll get more into that later. I am but an assassin rogue, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. <clears throat> Let's see here. Get out of your shop. How do I get out of your shop? Do I have anything to sell? Does thine have anything to sell? 
Uh, I'm not a warrior. I don't need this, so I can sell you that, my friend. How you like that? Um, uh, iron longsword? I can use that. Currently equipped with an I iron dagger, but mine's two-handed. Damage four. Crit's a higher crit. Okay. I should probably try to equip that. Alright, so I, I am going to grab this and put this into my hand and place that here. And then each side of these, I don't think I can, yeah, I definitely can't do that. Now, does it say somewhere what my character's attack power is? Yes, right here, five. It's, it's currently at five. Um, and if I take this and I put this here, it's still at five. Is it is it just under here? And I just can't see because all of this is in the way. Nothing. Oh man. All right. Let me see. I can't move that. That's really bad placement right there. That's an issue right now. Um, let's take out the iron dagger. Let's put the iron longsword in here real quick. And let's actually just test it in the field. The iron fist. And iron fist. I don't want. I don't need. And anything else that we can buy for pets? We just have the carrot. Ingredients that I have collected, we can sell. We have 36 of these. We're going to be able to make 29 potions, but we have to get the water to do that. And let's. Let's get out of here. My, my, it's gotten dark outside. Look at that pretty sky. All right. Um, we're gonna we're gonna keep it real and run around. Oh, look at that sword. We're gonna give this. Oh wow. That's pretty cool. I can sit down if I'd like. It's a really nice night to sit in the park, I say. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Let's go find some trouble. I'm sure we can find some on the outskirts of town. With my luck, it'll be those witches. What are you, Akali? Naran City. Now leaving Naran City. I think these are sheep. There are some people up there climbing. Is climbing something I can even do yet? Uh oh. Blood. there was that fourth guy. Okay. Well, that was cool and all. Uh, we need water. Yo necesito agua, por favor. I need it. And I need it now. Because we need some potions if we're going to be able to take on a group like that the next time. Right? Are we right? Of course we are. Alright. Well, we're going to come down here. We're going to slip into this pond. This looks like a fairly safe place to chill. Okay. So, we're going to go into our potions menu. We are going to... I gotta fill up my... I gotta fill up my water. I gotta make the crafting item first. So, we're gonna fill this up here. All we do is to, we're standing in the water, and we're holding down the left mouse button to make this happen. At least under the default configuration. 
there is probably a way to get rid of the text on the screen down there when you're done, so that it doesn't cover the entire screen, you know? Uh, I don't know what it is, unfortunately. So, we are just about finished with our water flask filling, and we're going to end up... There we go. Next, we go to our potions menu, and now we select life potion! Yay! Alright. I'm going to fill these up. Alrighty. We are all set with that, but right now, as you can see, down there, set to Q, is <clears throat> pineapple. So, you toggle your items by tapping tab, and then um, R, I'm sorry, once you hit tab to pull up your screen, you can scroll through your items by hitting A and D. We're going to currently want to have a life potion. So that's good. Hit tab to get out. And we're ready to go. We are ready to go. Oh, that guy is going to totally kick our butt if we try to get him. That bark beetle. But I really want to get to that campfire. Alright, got the mushroom. Let's see if we can get over to the campfire. Alright. So here we are at this campsite. I am going to examine the fire here. And by examining the fire, it allows us to pull up our cooking menu. So let's turn those pumpkins into muffins. Yay. Pumpkin muffins. Mmm. These will be good to eat sometime. We're going to make some ginseng soup. There we go. And turn these pineapple slices. They're already been made. Okay. Alright. Well, now let's see what else we can do. How do I... If I remember... Look into... In, pull up my inventory and light light is hmm. trying to remember what light that light does is it x no m no that's the map n b pulls up that v oh that's cool v tells you what is around that's very neat didn't know there was a scottish terrier there probably fight him. Um, let me see here. I'm going to try to figure out how to use the lantern real quick. Alrighty. If you hit F1, see, F1, it will pull up the map of the keyboard, and you can check out everything right here. So, that is the answer. F, by the way. 